वेलकम टू नासा पब्लिक स्कूल ऑनलाइन टीचिंग सिस्टम वीक थ्री क्लास नाइन्थ कंप्यूटर्स चैप्टर नंबर वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू कंप्यूटर्स पार्ट वन स्टूडेंट्स लर्निंग आउटकम स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू क्लासिफाई बिटवीन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन एनालॉग डिजिटल कंप्यूटर्स What is classification of computer? Computers are classified in different types on the basis of various technicalities and their capabilities. Basically, every type, every type of computer have their own capabilities and their technicalities. There are three types of classification: by purpose classification. by type classification and by size classification let's move on to by purpose classification by purpose classification is if we look upon the purposes for which we use computers we can classify them into two types there are two types of by purpose classification number 1 general purpose computers and number 2 special purpose computers let's move on to general purpose computer general purpose computers are computers designed to solve a large variety of problems they can perform different tasks mostly digital com digital computers are general computers general purpose computers they are widely used in business commercial and data processing general purpose computers are those computers which solve a large variety of problems they perform different tasks they are mostly digital computers and used in businesses commercial and data processing for example a personal computer in our home can be used to play games watch a video access the internet perform calculations and many more tasks the very same computer can be used in business to keep sales record obviously the computer basically depends where it is if it's in home then we can use in it in our personal usage and if the computer is in offices then we will use it according to the business second computers are special purpose computers they are designed to solve specific problems they are only designed to solve some specific problems they are mostly analog computers special purpose computer cannot perform a large variety of tasks they cannot perform a large variety of tasks they can perform smaller amount of tasks they are designed for machine or process control for example a weather forecasting system cannot play movies or cannot play games on it an oil exploration system will not keep track of sales record basically special purpose computers are only used for a specific purpose if it's in home or if it's on office basically a weather forecasting system is only for weather forecasting and oil exploration system will be only for oil exploration system data to keep ex uh, oil exploration system data in it and if we are using computers in offices to keep track of sales record basically every computer have their own purpose special purpose just like the above two example there are various other special purpose computer which are designed to perform some specific task only let's move on to the second classification is by type classification the first classification is by purpose classification and this is the second classification type by type classification it is based on data handling and data processing 
the computers are classified into three types. Number one, analog computers, digital computer, and third one is hybrid computer. Analog computers are computers that is used to process continuously varying data. These computers can measure continuously changing physical quantities like temperature, length, pressure, speed, voltage, etc. Analog computers are for used for continuous changing in physical quantities like temperature, length, pressure, and etc. In general, the measuring device of any kind referred to as a long analog computers. They solve problem by translating physical conditions such as flow, temperature, pressure into mechanical or electrical related circuits. These computers only check continuous data. Let's move on to the next slide. Analog computer continued. Analog computer produce results very fast, but they have less accuracy and are approximately correct. Analog computers basically give a proper result very fast, but they have less accuracy. Examples. Thermometer for measuring temperature. It gives the accurate temperature. Voltmeter for measuring voltage. Mechanical watch for measuring time. Barometer for measuring pressure. Let's move on to digital computers. Digital computers are used to process this continuous data. Analog computers are computers which give continuous data. In digital computers, they process information with quantities using digits. Digital computers mostly use binary number system. They are quite simple machines because they can understand and manipulate only series of elementary symbols that is zeros and ones. Digital computers have less speed than analog computers, but they have very high precision. They are mostly used in educational institutes and business organizations. Examples, personal computers, digital watches, and digital speedometer. Digital watches are those watches which only show a time. Time means if a time is 11.30, then it will show 11.30. In analog watches, we have a continuous minute showing in it that whether it's going to be 11.30 or going to be 11.31 a second will be continuously moving on analog watches. Let's move on to hybrid computers. Hybrid computers are designed by the combination of characteristics and advantages of both digital and analog computers. They take input in analog manner and then convert it into binary digits to be processed. Hybrid computers have speed of analog computers and accuracy of digital computers. Wow, this one is best one, which have the combination characteristics of both digital and analog. They are used where measurement has to be done very fast and processed in digital manner to achieve precision. Hybrid computers continued. Modern petrol pumps, amount of petrol is measured in analog fashion and quantity and cost is displayed in digital form. 
obviously in petrol pumps the amount of petrol is measured in analog method in continuous it's it's working in continuous continuous process and the quantity and cost is displayed in digital form the second example is dialysis machine measure measure concentration of blood is measured in analog fashion but gives digitally processed data this chapter will be continued in next part part 2